Hello and welcome everybody to the inaugural round of the inaugural season of DTM. Today we're here in Hockenheim and uh, should be a brilliant race hopefully. We've got 11 laps of the uh, historic circuit and um, genuinely I cannot wait. Uh, this is, I, I will confess this is the second time I've recorded it because of um, deaths in the first recording. Edit Alex, roll the tapes. So Yuri Tugan on her own has clipped the curb and yeah, she's flipped. And uh, she's spun. And uh, yeah, Jin Chamon could not do anything about that. And battling hard into the chicane. And so they're going to be trying to get the best exits they can. Oh, I completely missed it. Murray Senior is, is uh, out of the lead. What the hell has happened here? And, um, yeah, well, uh, here we are, this, sh this should be better, and, um, let's just get down to the grid, shall we? On pole position for today's race is Baba Tunde, followed by Alex Cajonas. Thomas McHugh, your new D uh, F1 champion, I should say, not DTM, he's in, he's in third. Then we have JC Dixon, Yuri Tugard, Q Fujibayashi. Kadish Kupra, Amari Risotto, Alan Kopic, and Matthew Barton rounding out the top 10. Then we have Simon Kay, Isabel Harvey, Daniel Gray, uh, TJ Nisbet, Joseph Murray Senior, Jensen Booker, Finley Taylor, Nicolo Shire Catano, Juan Luis Ramirez, and Mitchell Langenberg rounding out the top 20. Then we have James Smith, Reed, Polk, Tunde, Kiefer, Kamerzian, Sage, Chamon, Shalda, Nosk, and Rosales, and finally Jonathan Granville. And a uh, pretty speedy introduction, but genuinely, let's just get this done. Here we go. That's not the best way of putting it, but hey. Anyways, <laughs> alright, we're watching for the lights on the top, of course, and when they gr go green, we are racing. Well, we're green, and here we go. It's a good start from Baba Tunde. It's also a decent start from Cajones. And it's an even better start from JC Dixon and Thomas McHugh as we're going to round the first corner. And uh, looks like everyone's got through there pretty cleanly. But Baba Tunde has brought up a huge lead already. What an exit out of that corner. Baba Tunde has a brilliant start from him. And then it's Cajones, McHugh, Dixon, Fujibashi, and two going side by side the two teammates at MS and it looks like Fujibashi has let Tugut keep the position and Thomas McHugh is being attacked by JC Dixon as they all head round the chicane for the first time it looks like everyone has got through cleanly exactly what I want to see and so we blast down the straight Baba Tunde has a half a second lead over Cajonas and, um, well, in this series, you're going to see new drivers pop up, like the, well, the top three, up top, well, was the top three, but now Tom McHugh has just got past, in fact, no, JC Dixon has got back into third, but yes, DTM is a series where you're going to see new names pop up, like Baba Tunde, Alex Cajones, and JC Dixon, and the reason for that is simply because it is a somewhat of a feeder series and what I mean by that is drivers in this if they do well will have a higher priority once they get into Formula 1 it, or if of course they're not already in Formula 1 like people like Thomas McHugh uh, I won't say Yuri too because she's specifically just doing DTM now uh, Louis Sage is in here, you have Finney Taylor uh, Alan Kopich as well, you just saw him flash up on the screen. Uh, those of whom, uh, that doesn't really affect their, DT, uh, their F1 status, it's more for the new drivers. It gives them a slight preference, as I've completely forgot to take out the crash car. Ignore that. As Alex Cajones is your race leader at the moment, followed by Baba Tunde, as I'm going to have to get my car out of the way. I, I, Apologise for that. Okay, good. 
ignore that. Alex Cajones is your race leader, followed by Babatunde. And uh, the gap is minuscule at the moment. Babatunde could try and overtake uh, the BMW, uh, I forget what team it is, Tauber, I believe. And Babatunde is looking up the inside in that AMG. No point looking at the faster lap at the moment. It's clearly just watch the racing. And Bubba Tunde is right in the back. So we're going to get a little on board, I believe. Indeed, we, we are getting one. And uh, no mirrors, because you can see the mirror right on the top right. He's right in the back. He's going to try and look up the inside as we head down towards the chicane. He's going to go right alongside him. And it looks like Bubba Tunde has made the move work, but no. Cajonas holds it around the outside, and he has kept the position just about. Baba Tunde tries to make the move. You can rub in this series, I will say that. If you push to pass, that is okay. That is touring car racing in its essence. As Baba Tunde having another look up the inside. I thought he was gonna. Oh, Cajonas gets on two wheels massively there. That scared me for a second. As it looks like McHugh is battling with Yuri too. Good, the former Colony driver. Now driving for Mercedes, Machons. And Yuri Tugut has got into third position. And Tos McHugh in fourth. And then there is Q Fujibashi under attack from Armani Risotto, the uh, former Tyrrell driver. Forget what team he's in now. Uh, in, in season two, I mean. And of course, F1 season two is coming up in just two weeks' time. And just to keep your racing fix for that time being, we're going to be doing uh, some fun videos, perhaps, including um, Monaco Death Race, possibly. Uh, you'll understand once I perhaps explain that a bit better in the in the Discord server, which um, you can of course join in the description. Uh, and uh, yeah, feel free to sign up if you're viewing this and aren't part of this. There is a surefire way you can become a part of this series. It is very simple and I'll, I'll explain it to you or someone else in the server will explain it to you. And uh, a quick shout out to Oscar because every time I've been away he's been introducing people for, for me. And uh, I appreciate that Oscar. So if you're watching, thank you ever so much. You're a huge help. Anyways, back to the racing. It's Baba Tunde still behind Alex Cajones. And they're going to be heading down to the second chicane. As Baba Tunde, is he going to look up the inside? No, he isn't. He's not going to repeat what he did last lap. He's going to bash right into Cajones. I pronounced his name wrong. And he's actually got past this time. Baba Tunde takes the lead. And Alex Cajones drops back to second. Then we have Yuri Tugud, and then we have Thompson Q. Then we have Risotto battling Q Fujibayashi. Both Mashon's drivers are mine, by the way. Um, it'd be a bit embarrassing if I won my own series. I will, um, I'll try to make that not happen, but hey, I can't promise anything. They're just here, because why not? Why not? Anyways, we're going to go back. I'm going to have a little look back. And you can see in the bottom right, I've taken a suggestion that was suggested by uh, Ceresnia and Toodles to change the display to show this instead of um, uh, this display. Instead of this... Uh, you get what I'm trying to say, sorry. Anyways, it shows five drivers with your the driver I'm focusing on in the middle. And it shows their fastest lap. And Isabel Harvey, as I've just had a look, actually has the fastest lap of the race. We're going to go back now. As you, I'm not going to read out the names. You can see on the bottom right where your driver is. I'm going to have a little look at Louis Sage, who's in 25th. You know, he won the test series uh, pretty substantially as well. And he's back in 25th. Perhaps that's uh, what you get. Oh, Reed in the background. Reed got very sideways. He got on the dirt, and um, yeah, it's really not good for him. 
ignore the uh, crash car. That just has to cycle round because these cars, um, well, they can't really lose wheels, as I've found out. So, uh, yeah, I just have to have one of my cars run around. And I suppose that's not ideal, but I doubt it'll pose, an, uh, it'll pose a, diff uh, a problem. Alex Cajones is right up the inside, though. Uh, what's gonna... I, d I didn't see that move coming, but Cajones has just got past. Um, yeah, he's taking a lead, and now uh, Yuri 2 gonna toss McHugh fancy a slice. And uh, McHugh has just overtaken two good on the straight there. And uh, Babatunde is being slipstreamed by McHugh. He's going defensive, but uh, Thomas McHugh is also going, he's going even tighter. And here comes Thomas McHugh, the new F1 champion. He's just got past Babatunde. Yuri Tude is going to slip past two. So Babatunde drops from first to fourth in the space of a straight and two corners. Uh, I apologize for the frame rate. The frame rate has just suddenly just dropped. Um, I hope the recording somewhat smooths it out, but um, yeah, I don't exactly know what's happened. Anyway, it's Alex Cajones, your race leader, followed by Tom McHugh now. He's on the charge. I should say, if uh, you missed it last season, I actually uploaded a race from Paul Ricard where uh, Yuri Tugard won, coming from 12th on the grid, making it all the way up to the win and uh, on the final lap as well, thoroughly entertaining race, and that kind of thing can happen here. Suddenly a driver decides that they're going to be on the pace and uh, they'll blast up the pack on it. Indeed, it seems like Thomas McHugh is doing exactly that. As we really lag down the straight, I really apologise for this, I don't understand why this is happening. As they're hitting 160, almost 170 as they break down into the first chicane. And Thomas McHugh is right on the bumper. I'm going to get on board. As we're getting, we sit in silence a little bit down the straight as we listen to the engine. And uh, Tom Q is trying to look around the outside, not what I would recommend. But hey, it's not an awful line, and uh, Thomas McHugh here, he's really having a go. And he's getting the slipstream. Perhaps we'll see a move coming into the chicane. That would be brave, but we've seen him do it already this, uh, this race. And here he comes. He's looking up the inside. I think he's just going to pull back in. Yes, he does. Watch the curbs here. They're getting a little bit on edge, but hey. It's a pretty beautiful sight to see them on two wheels as they use as much curb as they dare. Now Tom's McHugh. As they come down into the right-hander, he's not going to make the move into there. He's going to sit behind for a little bit longer. Yuri Tugud and Armani Risotto and Bubba Tunde as well to an extent are your top five at the moment. Apologise for the motorbike going past. And the top five, any one of these could really win as we're heading onto lap six of 11, which means we've just passed half race distance. As I've mentioned already, I think it's an 11 lap race and uh, the races here will be a little bit shorter than Formula 1 but it's so your interest is maintained and uh, I believe the racing will help you do that as so I'm going to actually try and fix the lag issues. As they blast down the straight and yeah, I've tried to fix the lag issues, but I don't really understand what's wrong. Yuri Tugud is going up the inside of McHugh. She thinks better of it, but she tucked back into the slipstream. Oh man, I hope this isn't too bad on the recording. 
so far this race is almost as cursed as Mexico last year where I had so many issues in recording it this one as well I'm having issues recording so yeah I hope the frame rate isn't potato quality and um, I hope you are enjoying and if you are enjoying leave a like that does not mean leave dislikes as uh, what happened in Australia um, nice meme but I'd like likes on the video instead of dislikes uh, subscribe if you're not already subscribed and uh, yeah join the discord and yeah I hope you can get involved as well and if you are already involved in watching this race I hope you are enjoying it uh, I'm gonna quickly hop down the grid now so Cajones is your race leader followed by Too Good, then Rosotto, then Fujibahashi, Dixon, Tunde, uh, Simon K, Kopich, Harvey then we have Barton, Nisbet, uh, Cupra, Murray Senior. I am having more lag as Nisbet tries to get underneath uh, Barton there. I was going to say Taylor, but you know. Anyways, Murray Senior, Cupra, Shai Katano, Gray, Taylor alongside Booker, so that might change. And then we have Langenberg, Smith, Yaya Tunde, Wef Pope, Louis Sage. Juan Luis Ramirez, uh, uh, Rosales, Kemertian, Reed, Kiefer, Granville, Chanwon, Noske, and Shalda. And back up front we go. It's Alex Cajones, your race leader, and it is still a group of four. Wait, still a group of four? Someone's dropped off the back. Ah, uh, never mind. Anyways, it's Kones and Todd McHugh is having a little look at him now. As it looks like Armani Risotto has made the overtake to get into P3. And we're on lap 7 of 11 now. And down towards the chicane, they're running single file. I spoke too soon. Uh, I'm, I've messed up, so uh, we're going to quickly cycle through the grid once again and have a look at if anyone's having a battle, I guess. Nisbet and Barton are still having a battle. So we're going to head back up. It looks to me that uh, Yuri Tugut has dropped off the back. Perhaps uh, that was a result of the battle up front that has now resulted in Thomas McHugh garnering first position. And he's followed by Cajones and then Risotto. Can my door stop creaking? Jesus Christ. Anyway, as cones go flying, it is Thomas McHugh who is your race leader. He's got an 8 tenth lead as we head towards the sax curve for the 7th of 11 times. Alex Cajona is your second place driver, and then we have Risotto. We're going to check the fastest lap real quick. It is Baba Tunde with a 216.0. Uh, Baba Tunde at the moment is running 6th, it seems. As JC Dixon has made a, uh, a charge up to 5th position. And he is, uh, sorry, Babatunde is in 7th. And the final points finisher at the moment is Simon K. At the moment, your race leader is the world champion, Thomas McHugh. Let's go on board with him, shall we, as we... Uh, Watch him go past the second sector. A laggy on board with Thomas McHugh there then. As we're going to have a little look back and see if there is any battling because everyone's going a little bit single file. And uh, needless to say, we want battles here. <laughs> we want to keep it interesting. And in fact, here we go, 
It's an MM Motorsport, MM Motorsport battle. It's between Alan Kovic and Isabel Harvey, both established F1 drivers. And Alan Kovic had a little look up the inside there. Didn't quite make it work. And here is Finley Taylor and Jensen Booker. As it looks like Finley Taylor is actually going to maintain the position. And yeah, shuts off Jensen Booker. And there's Yaya Tunde in the background alongside his teammates. The cars may look different in AMG, but James Smith and Yaya Tunde are having a big battle in the background. And James Smith is still looking up the inside. They're side by side, giving each other a little bit of a tap. And uh, it's going to be done at the sax curve, I believe, as Wef Poke is fancying his chances now. And it looks like Yaya Tunde. No. James Smith is going to get the position there. Good move there from James Smith. Battle for 20th, so it doesn't really mean anything other than a slight change of upgrade points. But, you know, these drivers want pride as well when they're battling against their teammates. They don't want to be the worst of the teammates. And once again, we head up the order. As Thomas McHugh's gap has been cut down by Alex Cajones, and Cajones tries to look up the inside there. And uh, he's, still, he's still there, really. And he's alongside, and perhaps we're going to see a lead change. Indeed, indeed we are. Alex Cajones takes the race lead on lap 9 of 11. We're coming near the end of the race now. And really, it is any of the top fives, really. As Yuri too is looking up the inside of uh, Armani Risotto. Perhaps she's going to put a late charge and win her and win the inaugural race of the uh, PTM season. I do want to just apologise for the quality of this and I probably will at the end as well. I really cannot help the frame rate. This is um, very odd. I didn't have frame rate earlier, uh, frame rate issues earlier when recording. Uh, and now we just suddenly have potato quality. And I hope the render does not uh, pick up on that and I hope it smooths it out a little bit to a quality that is actually watchable as we're heading down the straight and into the right hander Yuri Tugu was looking at the inside of McHugh there but importantly Kifuji Bayashi has just overtaken an Armani Risotto and uh, it looks like uh, Baba Tunde yes Baba Tunde is on the back of this battle now and he has a shot of the win as well. He's going to have to get past the top five very quickly though. As Thomas McHugh is trying to regain his lead. And Kahonas has been dropped back to third position. As Yuri too has just gone past. And so we're on the penultimate lap now. And it is a battle between Thomas McHugh and Yuri too good for the win. And they blast down the straight once again. How many times am I going to say they blast down the straight? Probably a lot because there's a lot of straights on this circuit really. And so it's Schnitzer versus Machons for the, for the lead at the moment. But that doesn't mean everyone else is out of it. Not in the slightest. As here comes Yuri Tugud. She's having a look at Thomas McHugh. Uh, is she going to try one into the chicane? No, she doesn't. And at the moment, it is clearly going to be uh, Machons who are going to take the constructors' lead with a 2 4 at the moment. And that is great going from them. 
Of course, we're using the 1086 point system. That is a system we use for every um, series, even though we only have two series, but shush. <laughs> As we're going to go on board with Cajones at the moment, as gonna, we're going to watch the front two as Cajones is getting really close to Yuri 2 as it is very overcast all of us all at the moment I'm not entirely sure why it's got so overcast but hey that's just how it is <laughs> as the battle for the lead is really hotting up as Yuri 2 is literally trying her hardest to get alongside McHugh but McHugh has all of that experience from Formula 1 and obviously he has become the world champion even though it doesn't matter here I will just say that the uh, talent files for each driver are uh, exactly the same sort of um, F1 stats aren't coming into this so Thomas McHugh leading is a complete coincidence At the start of the DTM series, we just want to give everyone a good shot of the title, and that basically means we pretty much made it as even as possible. And that certainly doesn't mean you're at a disadvantage for being in a privateer team. Look at Armani Rosotto, he's in fifth, he's in a privateer team himself. Anyways, if I can, I want to get on board with Yuri Tugud. As Yuri Tugud is literally right on the back of McHugh now. As Fujibayashi is just overtaking Cajones. And it's now at MS 2-3. Now if Yuri Tugud gets up the inside, it's going to be a 1-3. What a brilliant performance that would be from MS. As they go down this straight for the fast time and into this chicane for the final time, we're going to see them go right on the curves to try and extract as much pace as they can. And it in fact looks like Thomas McHugh has gapped Yuri Tugu with a good exit out of the chicane. Yes, she'll have slipstream, but is that really enough? As Q Fujibashi is right on the back of her teammate now. But importantly, it is a battle, uh, not a battle, it is the race lead for Thomas McHugh. And it looks like he's just got enough of a gap to take the race win. As he gets a little bit of backfire going into the final corner, Thomas McHugh rounds the corner nicely and comes out the corner. And yes, indeed, it's going to be Thomas McHugh who takes the inaugural win in the DTM series. Very fitting, as it was him who won the first race of the Formula 1 series. Yuri Tugud takes second, followed by Q Fujibayashi in third. Then it is Alex Cajones, followed by Armani Rosato and Baba Tunde. As we're going to exit to the... Uh, no, we can't exit to the monitor. Never mind. Uh, it is uh, Rosato, Tunde. And then we have... Simon K and JC Dixon uh, rounding out the points finishers. And then it's Alan Kopich and Isabel Harvey, Matthew Barton in 11th, and Nicolo Shaikatano in 12th, TJ Nisbet 13th, and Joseph Murray 14th, Danny Gray 15th, and then we have Cooper, Taylor, Smith, Langenberg. I can't. And then Yaya Tunde in 20th. I apologise for all that lag. I really couldn't do much about it. And here are your final results. I went down to 20th, and here's your 21st to 32nd. But of course, your race lead, uh, your race winner, is Thomas McHugh for Schnitzer. Big congratulations to him. He thoroughly deserved that one. Yuri Tugud in second, and then Fujibashi, Kones, Risotto, Tunde, uh, Simon K, and JC Dixon rounding out the points finishers. And thank you ever so much for watching. The spreadsheet will be updated. I'm sure I have already pinged 
uh, and you can go and upgrade and the results will be out everything will be updated and uh, have a good one guys I'll see you in the next one goodbye guys